I'm the happiest when I'm driving on the road going somewhere and then getting there and like going to new places and seeing new things. I think that's like when I'm the happiest. I'm glad that I started climbing when I did because I feel like I'm part of this like original gangster era that we got to experience climbing in all its glory. I just feel like we got to experience climbing in an era when there was like, you know, like no crowds. Um, you never, like really, the emphasis wasn't, it was just on climbing. Like you never, uh, if you happen to get a video, then that's kind of rare. Like, but now it's like you go climbing and it's like there's always someone going to be taking a video uh, or posting something or, you know, it's just kind of like the culture has changed in the way that it's kind of like doing to recording to like reporting and like, I don't know, it's just like there's something that's gotten lost along the way. Before, like 10 years ago, I would go to the boulders and you know almost everyone and people would say hi and, you know, and now it's like you go to the boulders and people don't really say hi or they just travel in large groups and they kind of take over the place and I don't know it's just it's changed in a way that I don't really like it's not like I want the place to myself but there's a different sense between wanting the place to yourself and wanting it and having respect and I feel like there's a lot of climbers now that don't have as much a lot of garbage a lot more garbage and a lot more noise and like people just go into the forest and don't pay any attention to trails and people leaving tick marks and stuff and just doing stuff that in the old school climbing ethic guidebook is not really okay, you know? And maybe because there's climbing is so, it's growing so quickly that they're not learning as fast as they're growing. And, so, and you can definitely see it. There's a lot of people that are coming from the gyms and they're going outside. And I think the gyms need to step up the plate in terms of educating climbers and new climbers to how we should be behaving in the forest or in the desert, wherever we are, like either it's in, if it's in Squamish or in Magic Woods or in Bishop in California. Uh, as soon as I start climbing, I feel better. Like I feel like my body feels starts to feel better. I start feeling happier. Climbing, it's an expression and a movement <laughs> and sanity, but it's also like an it's it's a lot of things. It's like adventure. Um, it's a chance to go see a different perspective on the world. It's a chance to go see a different place. It's a chance to explore different things. Climbing is so many things because it challenges you in so many ways. Like it challenges physically, it challenges you mentally. I, th I think climbing is a really good opportunity for people to grow because because it challenges you so much. I remember the first time I did like a V12 and it's a pretty hot, good, like it's a good level. And uh, I remember before on previous tries, I was telling myself, oh, you can't climb V12, you can't climb V12, you can't do this, like you're not good enough. And then at some point I just kind of was like, shut up my head. Like I shut up the voice in my head and I kind of start climbing and all of a sudden I did it and I was like, oh, I can do it. So it's kind of like a good opportunity to like work on those voices that tell you otherwise. Cause it's, I mean, you can, you don't need climbing to do that. You can do that with anything. But for me, climbing was one of those things that forced me to, to prove myself wrong. <laughs> climbing is always different. That's the cool thing about it. Like you go to an area and you're always trying a different movement, a different hold, different, everything about it is, is different. And I like that. Whatever my top level is, like no matter what, like someone in the world is always gonna top that and be better. And the glory that you experience from doing something, whatever it is that you did, is it's just fleeting. And like the glory that these people are experiencing, it's also like it's just gonna go away. And and and, and in the end, I don't think any of it really matters, you know. I think all that matters is like, okay, well, how hard did you, did you push yourself hard enough? Do you feel like you're satisfied? Did you, could you have gone, like, what's your boundary and did you move past it? I think that's more important than, than some of the superficial stuff that goes with achievements. I don't know, like, who cares? 